Do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? F A L L E N. The name of the show is the Fallen State. Do you uh, believe why do you human have a name? Because I'm trying to figure out if human beings are in a fallen state. Do you think that they are? So that's an easy thing to answer. I mean, can you look at my family as an example? My brother went to Harvard, top of his class. He worked for the, some of the biggest companies in America. Me and my, my sister was more neutral. She went dancing to discos and Studio 54 when we were kids and also got good grades. Me, similar to her. So you're saying fallen state. I mean, some people, you know, it depends, what, depends what you consider your goals to be. What does it mean them to or you? Not. Like, are you saying a religious perspective? Yeah. Losing track of your identity, uh, losing uh, track of feelings, getting being too cold and too uncomfortable. And Are you in a fallen, fallen state or have you ever been in a fallen state? I guess I have when things just weren't working out and I'd, I would look up and go, uh, can I get a break here, please? Uh, uh, we, you know, we all, you know, pray. He probably is a little bit pissed off because we seem to only call upon him when we have a problem. Yeah. He's probably up there in heaven going, oh, you didn't call last week. You know, like <laughs> yeah. that Corleone story. Yeah. And Ronald Brennan goes, you don't call. Now you want a favor, you know? Yeah. So I imagine the Lord says that probably a hundred billion times a day, you know? Oh, now you call, you know? So I know you say you're a Jew, you are a Jewish person, man. Uh, so do you believe in morality? Right yes. and wrong. Yeah, and but, everyone has their, but everyone has their own, they make their own. I'll give you another great example. A lady's eating at a, this, this, tell, this is life. This is a, a great piece of life. I'm watching this with my own two eyes. This lady, vagrant, was reaching into, the, into a garbage can and pulling out food from the middle. I wound up giving her a few bucks. I felt bad. She's pulling out food. And then the lady came after her, just took it off the top. She said, that lady is so disgusting. She reaches deep into the garbage can, right. pulls out this crap that's wet, disgusting me, just off the top. You know, just skim a little bit off the top. And that way it's okay, it's still dry, you right. know, and, it, and I could share it with the other vagrants here. And I realized myself, we draw our own lines, don't we? Yeah. The most people eating Absolutely. out of a garbage can is enough, but she goes to the <laughs> top only, you know? So that, that, that to me is a, is a really good example of, we all draw our line, you say morality, I guarantee, my morality is not going to be the same as somebody in Salt Lake City, Utah, probably. So you would consider yourself a moral man? Yes. And where do you get your morality from? The Lord above. So you believe in God? Yes. And how do you think? And I've seen things that happened when I wasn't. Also, I've been surrounded by them. In fact, Craig Gross said so. The head of the church, it's called the Triple X Church, we debate on the road. He wants to put us out of business. And my job is to defend the porn business. Right. He's a pastor, Craig Gross. Sam Kennison, remember the comedian? Uh, he was a Pentecostal <laughs> minister. Tammy Faye, yeah, you know, I her. she's an evangelist. Yeah. And then, of course, the Craig Gross from the Triple X Church, who flew, and, and my, these guys, when I was ill, they flew across the country to keep me company, great guys. And so, you know, um, so be, having had, so Craig has said to me, you've been surrounded by so many Christians for so long, between my debates, being on a TV show with Tammy Faye, you have got to have some of that influence. I said, I have. I, of course I believe in God. I had things happen that would knock your socks off. When now, you, but, but he said, but the, and, but the whole Christ thing, the Jews aren't 100% sure. We believe either way, he's a, he was a very special person, that's for sure. Right. A, a rabbi, you know, carpenter, you know. So but you whether we think he's God or not, the Jews aren't 100% sure on that. And I'm uh, not 100% sure. So you believe you know. in Jesus, the Son, or God, the Father? Who do you believe I, I in? I believe in uh, the, the Jewish translation. I believe in... The uh, God, not the, the Son. God, right. That oh, Jesus okay. was... A very special person, but not maybe not necessarily God. Oh, okay. See, and again, you know, that's how do you think? I, he, I, I, I wish I wish I knew. So I made a joke once, and it was people literally liked it. I said, "Want to be really smart uh, when you're on this earth? Pray to Muhammad, Muslim, Mormon." Uh, no, uh, don't pray uh, to Muhammad. Oh, yeah, okay. Allah u Abba. Okay, all right. So, so <laughs> pray to, uh, Moses. Pray to everybody. Twenty people, <laughs> right? You know including Mary. a Hindu, you know, Confucianism, yeah. all that. If you pray to these people, somebody you talk to will greet you in heaven. <laughs> you think, well, the 20 people I was praying to, somebody's got to be here. Yeah, that's right. You know, so, or I used to always joke about that. If, uh, if I went to heaven and there's Jesus, and I go, oh, my God, it really was. Son of a bitch. I, don't, I say, please let me go back down again. I'm trying to do yeah. it over. How do you think God feel about what you've been doing for 40 something years, the uh, porn business, business that you've been into? How do you think God see that? Well, if you're going to believe in um, no premarital sex, 
no sex outside marriage, then he would find it sinful, of course. Uh, but so many people, including everybody in this room, probably without, 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 without any, you know, uh, everyone in this room, everybody, has probably been involved in premarital sex. You think or so? sex outside marriage of some sort. Uh, I don't know your situation, but if I said with a show of hands, you'd say I was right. Because whenever I do this with Craig Gross, I do the big debate, I say, Craig, porn's not your problem, you know, uh, watch. With a show of hands, I got an audience of 5,000 people. With a show of hands, you know, who has never had sex outside marriage? And it's, you can hear, you can, you hear crickets. Because yeah. everybody has had sex outside marriage. But how so do you I'm feel that God sees, but how do you think he sees the, you've been doing it for 40 years for money and different women and all that. How do you think God, and, and you say you believe in God, how do you think he feel about Ron doing that? What do you think? How do you think he say. would see you doing that? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Yeah, it's, uh, cause I, I have, again, because my views are way liberal, I'd have a really hard time trying to convince somebody that it's okay, you know, to do that. Just like, but not just us, strippers, swing clubs, a lot of, you know, covet thy wife. I mean, in a swing club, it's couples that go there together and they meet other couples to get playful with. Yeah. It's consensual, they do it as a team. And they enhance, sometimes sex therapists say it could enhance your romance. Because, you know, could, one of the hardest things to do, it seems, is to keep sex exciting yeah. after 10, 20 years. A lot of guys tell me this. It's difficult. So you do something, you know, outside the norm. Maybe you maybe hug and kiss your neighbor's woman because it's agreed upon. And then maybe your marriage can last 10, 20 years yeah. more because you're being more open, more crazy. It's, it's not your thing. And I wouldn't expect someone who has an evangelist attitude. I would not want to bring you guys to a party like right. that. But as far as I go, I have a hard time finding anything bad about it. Have I you ever had God days where you did thrilled, but so the Lord above might not be thrilled of my choices, but I don't, if, I, if you're a good person and you're doing things that are, no one's hurt, getting hurt, I think it's okay. But then are you again, a good the Christians person? will say, but it's hurt, it's hurting, it's hurting the family. It's so I know, I understand both sides because I debate. Are you a good person? Huh? Are I do you, think so. You think you're a good person? Um, well, I work with PETA. I belong to PETA. I'm a spokesman. I work with animals. Uh, and I do certain things that you might find impressive. Uh,